What is up guys, Mr. Lee Redman here. Welcome back to episode number three of the Scotland Simulation Series. We are now 30 years into the future. So hopefully, or normally on previous ones, it is around about now that things start to change in Scotland, specific, as well as in the Premiership. We've seen a bit of change in the League Cup already with a mixture of clubs winning it, a Scottish FA Cup. Not so much, but we are getting a few more winners other than just Rangers and Celtic. But let's get straight into it. Let's have a look at the Scottish Premiership. So those are the teams in it so far. Pretty much the usual suspects. I think Queen's Park and probably are a little bit uh, new. Rafe, I think, have been there for a while. Um, but they are a bit of a yo-yo club from what I remember seeing. But let's have a look at the winners. So... Yeah, hasn't actually changed that much at all. Celtic are dominating again. They actually won 7 of the 10 with Hibs winning 2 and Rangers winning 1. Um, Rangers aren't always consistently second to Celtic, uh, but they do seem to be not, and not always third, to be fair. Um, so it seems like they might be falling away a little bit. Um, let's have a look at Championship. So this is a Championship. Not much different from like last time, I expect. So we're League One. Got a couple of non-league sides in there. Albion Rovers still, Delbiti Star, East Kilbride. But uh, yeah, I mean, to be fair, highest we've had so far is East Kilbride in the Championship. I want to see who the first non-league club is to potentially get into the Premiership. That'd be interesting. So this is this is League Two. A fair few. Non-league sides again, Auchinleck, Cowden Beef, Fraserburgh, Inveriuri, Locos and Pollock. Um, interesting to see. They didn't go up, did they? Interesting to note that Inverness are not in there. So that'll be interesting. So these are the championship winners. Um, Dundee winning a few. A United, Rafe. You have a tendency to see a few teams win the same leagues every time. Uh, this is League One, so St. Johnson have just come back up from League One. So that's uh, an interesting one there. The lowest like Premiership side so far. And then this is League Two. In Vyuri actually finishing second and Oakland in third. But unfortunately not going up. That's an interesting one right there. Oh, Del Beatty actually went up one. Um, but that one's an interesting East Kilbride winning it, they'll beat and all can like finishing third. The first all non-league top three by the looks of it. Um, so we'll have a quick look at the Highland League. Uh, so there's Inverness, they're actually in the Highland League. So they've been relegated out of the Highland League, uh, out of the Football League, sorry, into the Highland League. The highest ranked team, I think, so far. Uh starting rank anyway in the fact that um, uh, Inverness were in um, the championship um, just checking the fact of Montrose one there uh, Scottish Lowland League couple of teams in there <coughs> uh, Alawa Anan going all the way down not much else it's not, no, it's not no Stranraa still so they might still be in the southern south of Scotland just do it slowly so everyone can have a quick look. Feel free to pause it. South of Scotland. Yep, Stranraer are still there. They have won it a couple of times. A fair few times, actually. Um, but the problem is, is they have to go into a playoff with the winners of the East and West Scotland Premier Divisions to actually get promoted. So we'll just quickly go down the leagues. Like I said, feel free. We've got Berwick Rangers, actually. East of Scotland first. Um, feel free to pause. Just trying to have a quick shift here if any other teams have gone lower. Uh, no teams going lower, but Linton Hotspur, who are my other series I'm doing, they are actually in the second division. They've actually finally got promoted. West of Scotland third. East of Scotland bottom division. And then the lowest division, the West of Scotland 4th Division. I think maybe when I get to 50 years, I might 
do a little bit slower and see if I can find out like a bit more stuff. So we didn't have the Scottish Cup. You can see Celtic are previous winners. Um, it's a bit here and there Celtic Rangers as per usual. At least one in it. But then we do have other teams in the Fed Aberdeen, Marvel Air and Hibs taking some of it. So it's not I mean you could say Celtic are still dominating because they've won half the trophies in the ten years. Um but then after that no one's really stepping out as well. I mean Rangers obviously not doing that great. Only two ever league two finals in that that ten year um reign. Scottish League Cup, a nice mixture. Ross County Hibs, Motherwell, Celtic only winning it twice, Ross County twice. So that's quite a nice mixture there as well. And again, like I said, again, not always a old firm team in the final. So not always guaranteed to have them as a an actual runner up. When was the last time we actually oh there we go. That didn't actually last long to be fair. Last time I saw it, it was an old firm final, but that was the first one in, where was it? 13 years, actually. So that's different. Um, let's go and have a look at Europe. Always start with the Champions League, even though it's probably unlikely we will get anybody uh, there. Just having a look. No winner in the final. Nope. I'm not too sure your class is dominating now. PSG at a start, Man City winning a few, Barcelona winning a few here and there. So we got Europa League. I have Rangers won another one. No, they haven't even got to a final. So that's first block of ten where Rangers haven't won the Europa League, Conference League. Well, there we go. We got Rangers in there instead. So it seems in in every single block. Rangers have won a European trophy. Did we get anyone in the final? No. So, yeah, so Rangers and Ross County are still the only teams to have won um, a European trophy. But to be fair, it's not It's not taken as long as I thought it would. I thought it would be maybe 20 or so years before we they won anything. Maybe the Europe Conference League, I could see them winning. Um, but the Europa League, that was a little bit of a surprise to me at least that Rangers have gone and won it um, that quickly um, and twice as well. So, yeah, that's quite surprising. We'll have a look at um, <clears throat> Scotland in the World Cup. I don't actually know why I'm going this way. Um, oops, wrong button. So, yeah, I don't really know why I'm going that way. So we'll just do this way instead. So the Scottish Premiership is quite high ranked. Actually, I forgot to check that. Where is it? Still in eighth, actually. It'd be quite nice to see it go up to sixth to get a few more positions. Um, but no, just still in eighth. Uh, best player, Dave Rennie. Is it Atletico Madrid? Um, not a bad player, actually, 27. Um, I don't know if that's actually a ranking, but Hibs have actually gone second behind Celtic, then Rangers, then Ross County. Um, Ross County is not surprising because they've won a few trophies. Um, but we'll have a look at um, Scotland in the World Cup and the, uh, the Euros World Cup. So they've played in one of them at least, which was this one when they got to the round of 16, losing to Spain. So they've at least made one every single time we've done this. Um, we then do Euros. So they've actually made all three by the looks of it. Finishing bomb of their group in 2044. Losing, and in the next two losing core finals to Italy and Holland. So they are consistently making the Euros, uh, which is good to see. Um, I think they've actually made every single tournament since this started. Made for two, three, six, four, four, four. Yeah, so they've actually made every single Euros since the start of this file. Um, and they've only made four World Cups. Um, yeah, four World Cups since it started. Um, we'll have a quick look at the Nations League, but then again, I don't think it really helps, to be honest. Um, no, don't really know. Let's have a look at the fixtures. 
see where they were last time. They were in Group B, so they should now be up to Group A, considering they won it. Oh, they were, in, they were there, so yeah, they got up into Group A. World Cup qualifiers, they're not doing too badly. Lost to Bosnia, but beat Germany. Double header against Latvia. They got Fair Islands and then Germany and Bosnia to play again. So, that'd be an interesting one. Um, is it? The, only the winner goes up. Oh, it goes up, the only the winner qualifies for thingy. So, that'd be interesting. Um, let's have a look at their rankings. So they are 25th at the moment. It's gone downhill a little bit from a high of like 17th, 16th, sorry, and down to a low of like 27, back up to 25th though in a moment. Um, major transfers, we got someone going over to um, Phoenix. Let's have a look at, oh, I was going to say from Man City to Air, but uh, yeah. Uh, so far, that's July, but uh, mostly loans. And um, uh, there we go, 15 mil from Celtic to Al Ali in, the, in Saudi Arabia, of course. Still not... Oh, okay, I was going to say that was weird. And I just realised it's actually going back monthly. Um, so... What do you cash? So that's all the cash ones so far. Um, but yeah, that's not too bad. Um, but yeah, I think that's it for this uh, this um, video, guys. I will be tagging on a second video after this, which is just showing the trophy count. I know I said I didn't do the last one, but I didn't get it done in time. So the next one will have the trophy count at the end. And um, it's interesting to see. So the, basically the trophy count will be Premiership, FA Cup, League Cup, Europe, International, and then an overall one. It will only show the top five because I didn't want to make it too like too big. So it will show the top five um, counts. So yeah, so this will be following up. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoy the um, trophy count. Something I thought I would add on to the end of the video, guys, is something I said I would do in the last episode, episode two, but I didn't get a chance to actually do it. And basically what I wanted to do is at the end of each episode is keep a tally of trophies won. So here is the first go of that after 30 seasons. So as you can see, Celtic are dominating quite a bit. And again, Rangers are second behind them um it will be interesting to see going on further in the future how much if they increase their leads or if other clubs reel them back in um one thing to surprise is the fact that ross county are third in the trophy count um having winning like five league cups one premiership which is the big one as well as the europa conference league being the first team to win it from Scotland, with Rangers winning a second one. Um, but yeah, just thought I'd do this at the end of it. I will be hopefully doing this at the end of every single video from here on in. So as always, guys, leave some likes, leave some comments, subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. And as always, take it steady.